Today, we're going to unbox and review the Oidum Ceramic Oscillating Heater. Now, right now, in New York City, it's about 70 degrees. So, how do you offices treat hot outside? Air conditioning is kicking in, right? Well, how do you guys keep yourselves warm in your office? Let me show you how I do it. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys? This is Herbie from Herbie's World showing you that IT means I try. So, if you're new to this channel, thanks for stopping by. Please subscribe. So on this channel we do unboxings, desktop support, life hacks, actual hacking, and tech reviews of great products just like this one. So anything we discuss in this today's episode, you'll find right on the bottom over here. So let's go check out the Oidum Ceramic Oscillating Heater. Okay, let the unboxing begin. So I don't know about you guys, but for me, whenever I go to work, I hate when it's cold. Hate it, hate it, hate it. Now my wife, on the other hand, she loves the cold. I can't work when I'm cold. So we need options. And one of those options is to get a desk heater. So, this is what we have. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, so, this is about 2.8 pounds. It's 5 inches by 5 inches by 8 inches. We have instruction manual. And we have the heater. Nothing else in the box. Okay, let's take a look. Now, the first thing you'll notice is the really small form factor. This thing would be great to fit right under your desk or actually on top of the desk. Let's take a look. Okay, so durable material. On the side, it comes with a type of metal that's not going to catch fire, which is great. Okay, uh, okay, it has a strong and soft setting, so which this is for the heat setting. So we have a 450 watt low heat and a 950 watt heat. Um, it also does regular wind, which is like regular fan, and it has a swing oscillating feature, which goes about 60 degrees, which is pretty good. Okay, we have the ventilation in the back. There is a power button right there. Okay, the voltage is 110 volts. So any regular plug will do. Now it's pretty light, it's compact. Now why I picked this one is this. Couple things, there's some safety features that you have. Um, see if you have the fan or the heat on and you walk away and you have like a cat or a dog or a baby, if it tips over, it will stop it from working, which is great. And also, there's an LED right over here that will indicate whether you're on cold or hot, red and blue. So that's some pretty good features. Now, the version I got is black, okay? Now, let's take a look. So, ceramic heater produces warm heat around you, you can place it on a tabletop, which I would suggest. Now I have one on the bottom of my desk, but this will do a room of about 400 to 600 square foot where you'd be able to feel the heat. But what I'm going to do also in the next video is show you how to heat your bedroom or your office for free. So we'll do that in the next one. So let's take a look in the instruction manual. Now the upper cover comes off. This here, there's a handle right over here. Now protection net is pretty good. Now you want to keep this protected. You can clean it off with a soft cloth. You only want to use water on the outside part. You don't want to spray within the heater with water directly. That could cause a problem. And that looks about right. Let me see if I missed anything. This is very energy efficient and it has 
a two second heat up. So that's pretty good. This is ideal for warming personal spaces such as offices, campers, and bedrooms and can be carried easily. Now it's very small as you see and the warranty on this, there's a 60 day money back warranty and they're backing you. If you're not happy, you can bring it back for 100% of your money. So let us venture to turn this puppy on and let me get you guys in a better angle to see. So back in a minute. Okay, let's plug this puppy up. Now, right now in my office in New York City, the heat is outside, so it's central air, which means that if it's warm on the outside, the inside temperature doesn't know what to do. So we're getting air conditioning, which is really cold. My office is really cold, but I need a heater to do it. So that was why I decided to get this way. So let's take a look. Right here we have an on and off. We have soft, strong, wind, and swing. So let's turn this on. And let's try the wind feature. Now you can turn it on here, but don't forget there's a button in the back. Okay. So right now I'm getting a little bit of heat, but it's wind. Okay. So let us swing just so you can see the oscillation vector it's not bad it's quiet not intrusive it's actually blowing nice warm air this will be like great for like a bedroom in an office okay so let's try the stronger one. Now if you know, you'll see the LED right over here is protruding. Wow, that's really hot. That's really, really hot. Now I got this for $48. You may find it on the market for $110. Okay, so a couple things. Make sure that you have it in the proper position. If you put it on high, you may blow some breakers. A couple caveats. Now, if the power is on in the back and you hit on and off here, it's to actuate the heat. So let me circle on that. On and off is to turn on the heat feature. Soft and strong, 450 to 950 watts. Regular wind is regular wind, like a regular fan, and swing is to actuate the oscillating 60 degree feature. So, hit on. Now, I gotta tell you, it produces very good heat. Very strong heat. This is great for in your desk, it's good for on top. If you have a bedroom or a dorm room that you need good heat, this is gonna do it. I mean, I'm really surprised by the form factor of how much heat this produces. I have a one at work, it's not even nearly as close as this. Okay, let's try. Strong. Jeez. Guys, this is a really good, really good personal heater. It's small, it's compact. If you do on and off, it'll turn off the heat feature. So you see how right here the LED is gone. You turn it on, it's on. Man. This thing is producing a lot of heat. Now, here's what I'm thinking. If I have this in my bedroom and I plug it to my Yeti 150, I technically I can have winter with no heat in the house. I don't need to use the heater. This thing right here, it's more than enough heat. 
Great little device. Okay, let's do turn this off and let's try the regular wind feature just to see. But these coils are great. Very hot to touch, be careful here. Not bad, not bad, Oidum. Form factor is great. Okay, so let's let's review and discuss. Back in a second. Okay, so pleasantly surprised with this Oidum desktop heater. Really good. Well constructed. Looks good. Not obtrusive. Um, I would definitely recommend this right here. If you have a need for heat in your desktop, your bedroom. This thing right here, good form factor, good bang for buck, and I got this at $48. Other ones you have, they're not so pretty, and they're big, they don't produce nearly the amount of heat on this. And safety factor, this has a great tip feature, which is awesome. You don't have to worry about burning your house. Do I recommend? Yes, I do. So. Thank you very much for checking out this episode of Herbay's World. Now, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to be doing a giveaway of a 65 inch or a 55 inch television for our subscribers. So don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one. IT means I try. Peace.